Cool. All right, I think we're good. All right, chat. What's up? All right, guys. Hello, hello. Ah, uh, yes, I agree. More sponsors. You know, what I just noticed down here, by the way, Spring 2024 Collegiate Championship sign up. They're actually promoting Collegiate Esports now. That's interesting. <sighs> Les, did you know you could buy a new Xbox for the new heirloom? Wait. Oh, like how much is the prices? Um, well, I mean, the Xbox is kind of old at this point, right? Like, and they've already announced that there's another generation coming out. So, I understand that, but yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Chad, you're found on in. Will you talk about the Marvel Overwatch game or no? Do you have the article for that? I saw it on Twitter this morning, but I didn't see uh, any articles for it. Mod chat? <laughs> oh, it was scrolled up from what I typed. Oh. Whoops. Whoopsies. Okay. Uh, uh that's a tweet. Um. Uh, that's a tweet. That's not an article. <laughs> uh, never mind. Okay. Uh, let me go through subs really, really quick. One sec. Uh, Blue is buried in 17 months. Two slices of bread got married. The wedding was amazing until someone decided to toast the bride and groom. Cassie thing the 15 months, uh, Splat thing the 35 months, MVP thing the 8 months, Ghost kissing the 10 months, Selfish, and wait what? Cents from Blake. The heck? Yo, Selfish thing the 200 bits, Stone Gamer Chick thing the tier, two, tier 1 for 2 months, and uh, hello, Blake, thing for the 100 dono, you're insane, 100 stones, 100 rocks, 100 dollars, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Mm. Big start to YouTube stream, hey, much love man, I hope you know I appreciate that a ton. Um, got you, bro. Yeah, that means a lot. I appreciate that. Mods, if, I think there should be an article to that. If you find it, let me know. Uh, and send it to me. I, I, I'm down to take a look at it. I, I heard, uh, I've read a little bit about it. Basically, if you didn't see, Marvel is apparently set to, I don't know if it's, like, announced tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. That apparently they're making a 6v6 Overwatch type game. Uh, so I don't know if there's a article that comes with it, but I'd probably take the Forbes one. I think Forbes is what originally announced it, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that could be kind of evil. Uh, <laughs> that could be kind of evil uh, if they do that. Doing it 6v6 too is just diabolical. Alright, it's in my chat. Right, let, me go, let me get my quiet corner. We got a lot of content to farm today. I got a lot of content to farm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Holy shit! It really is. Okay. Ew. I don't want. I don't want to pay for your article. Okay. So, chat. There was this tweet this morning uh, that I, I I saw when I opened up my my phone and whatnot and it said marvel are reportedly working on a 6v6 overwatch style hero shooter game via forbes it suggested this game could be announced tomorrow so then there's this article hang on let me turn on dark reader for you there you go that way we all don't blow our eyes out of our sockets from light you know i know you guys don't like light me neither and it says report a Marvel 6v6 Overwatch style shooter game is coming. While the hero shooter may be on somewhat shaky ground in terms of what new entries these days, what if the heroes were really, really well known? That appears to be the idea behind a reportedly in game, or sorry, in development Marvel game that will allegedly be a 6v6 Overwatch style hero shooter. Albeit in third person, not first person. Oh, we don't have to be worried then. Third person. <laughs> third person will make a lull. Yeah, nah, nah, this game's fucking dead on recent on release. <laughs> nah, nah, that ain't gonna work. That's, that's, nah. 
Nah, that's not the same. Oh, okay, I was a little bit worried when I read the art when I read the t the headline, but we're good. We're safe. Uh, I've seen a few different bits of sourcing on this now. The latest from the streamer. Hey, does that link to me? Uh, and yes, I'm convinced the game is likely real. It's from NetEase, which has a contract uh, to develop Marvel games, but this is a supposed to be on a larger AAA scale. Wait, why not qu quadruple A? Isn't that the new thing to just call your game quadruple A title, you know, and then just sell it for more money and then you, uh, yeah, why not? Uh, you only shooting for triple A? Yeah, dead on arrival. GG's. Uh, scale then <laughs> has past mobile entries. Marvel Super War and Marvel Duel. I haven't heard of either of those games. One report says it will be on PC. Another says it's console and mobile as well. Mobile? Oh my god, this thing's... <laughs> you know, I was a little worried when I first opened this, genuinely. But mobile and PC on the, in the same sentence? Yeah, it's a wrap. Uh, I mean, obviously, we'll see what it gets, you know, announced, but... Known Avengers slash Suicide Squad leaker Miller also confirmed the existence of the game, which is supposed to be stylized in the vein of Valorant more than Overwatch designs. Nah. Nah, third-person Valorant with Marvel heroes? It's like, oh, fuck... Thor swinging, Thor, Thor swinging A, swinging A, swinging A. It's like, it's like, can we put webs? Can we put webs on A? Can we put webs on A cross? Yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> yeah, all right, fuck, man. Uh, okay. Miller says it's likely a sto the storm design, seemingly confirming the character in an additional streamer article says Magneto is another character and it will be voiced by James Arnold Taylor Obi-Wan the clone sorry Obi-Wan in the Clone Wars animated series reportedly Mag Magneto will have environmental destruction powers oh my god a, a Valorant-esque game a Valorant-esque third person hero shooter with destructible environments dude I feel like I, dude I haven't even seen anything I feel like it's lost the plot right like this is like trying to combine Overwatch, Battlefield, Valorant, Fortnite. Um, this one of those things where a corporate Candy Crush. was like, hey, what if we made one of those Overwatches but make it Fortnite-like, but coolly data style like Valorant and throw a bunch of Marvel superheroes in there. Gen Z loves those. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this feels AI generated. It just, it, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if you guys have seen, but like, Little by little, a lot of like the smaller uh, news article companies like really are becoming like AI articles, and they're just made up people that they like pretend uh, wrote the article. It's actually really fucking scary if you think about it, because uh, sometimes they push really really hard narratives on things. Um, let, let's let's use for example Overwatch, right? Like there's a there's a mainstream art uh, argument for Overwatch that Overwatch is terrible. Okay, for many years, you're not wrong. Uh, in the last six months, that's started to change a little bit. Um, but, like, if the AI fucking articles just keep pumping those out constantly, it's like you're they're trying to reinforce that. And it's not actual people that are, like, looking at it with an objective look and being like, hmm, you know, maybe there is some things here. It's just, like, pulling old information. And when you pull old information and reuse the Happy old information, years, Mr. Streamer Love you're not actually gaining anything. The content. Right? Yo, thank you for the 24 months. I appreciate that, dude. I don't know. It, it, that's a totally different conversation. Let, let's 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 stay on track. Uh, the details remain a bit murky, uh, with a few conflicting reports. But the top line: a competitive Marvel hero shooter is enough to go off of. Though I imagine more than a few players will be skeptical of NetEase's involvement here, as the company is widely known for microtransaction-heavy mobile games. Oh, geez. Oh my God, you're fucking toast on arrival. Oh my god, yo, we need smokes, A. Eh? Nah, you gotta <laughs> smokes are 199. I'm not buying those. <laughs> Man, hero shooters from Overwatch to Valorant to Apex Legends are obviously laden with microtransactions at baseline. This is how many buzzwords can we put in this game? Kinda. Uh the Marvel game will have skins at the very least, to be sure. Wow, that's that's some top-notch reporting right there. 
the Marvel game will have skins at some, at the very least, to be sure. Holy fucking shit. Um, so who's, who is on this list? Here's the rundown, which uh, obviously subject to change and it is not very clear on how many games would we'll launch with and which ones would be added later. As you can see, we're spinning both the Avengers and X-Men in the very, the very least here. Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, Iron Man, Luna S Snow, Punisher, Rocket, Groot, Loki, Spider-Man, Hulk, Magic, Magne Magneto, Mantis, Storm, Penny Parker, Black Panther, Star-Lord, Namor, Thor. A few interesting conclusions, sorry, a few interesting in conclusion, a few interesting in conclusions, sorry, inclusions, I'm fucking stupid, uh, I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense, uh, and there would be Luna Snow, a Korean hero, which first showed up in the Marvel Future Fight, don't know what that is, and since appeared in the comics, and you may recognize Penny Parker from the Spider-Verse movie series, and even... Evangelion inspired version of Spider-Man from an alternate universe. Dude, maybe I just been out of the game for too long. I don't know any of these people. <laughs> I don't know any of these people. Uh, all the picks are a little surprising. Uh, Magic and Mantis seem a bit lower profile than the others, but it's a good list. Valorant only launched with 12 agents, and this is 19. Overwatch, however, had 21, so who knows? Maybe it's all of them. Uh, it is pretty easy to be skeptical skeptical given sorry it's skeptical about this given how poorly most non spider-man hero superhero games have performed as of late and how burned out many players are on hero shooters but we'll see there is supposed to be an announcement for the game coming this year and we'll learn more then I've asked NetEase for comment and will update if I hear back well yeah I mean people are, are obviously burned out I guess on hero shooters but like I think people are more burned out at least with um like the Marvel Super Universe, you know, like I feel like they just won't stop milking it. You know what I mean? Like I don't even really watch superhero movies. I'm really not like the most of the time I watch superhero movies on planes because they're really long. And I feel like they just kind of tried to farm the fuck out of their audience like multiple, 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 multiple times. And, like, anytime I see like any superhero games come out, it just gets fucking bombed into oblivion. Uh, and also, with all the buzzwords they're throwing in here, and it sounds like they're trying to make a third-person Valorant-esque Overwatch hero shooter that's available on PC and mobile devices with microtransactions. Like, I can't figure out if you're trying to make Fortnite Candy Crush with fucking Overwatch heroes, or you're trying to make Valorant with... Uh, if, <laughs> with fucking third person peaks and, and random ass abilities, like, I don't know, dude. Oh, sorry, the destructible environments, too, where you can just fucking blow through the wall. It's like, okay, like, we're all holding angles on A. Oh, just kidding, the Hulk just came through the fucking wall and we lost all our angles. Like, <laughs> okay, dude, that sounds great. Oh, man. Like, how do you balance that? At some point, you're going to balance it and be like, well, he actually can't break through all walls, so it's only some walls, and then it's not really actually that playable. I'm and resubscribing, it... brother, two and a half years, brother. <laughs> 32 months. Yeah, uh, I was a little... I, when I read this, I thought it was going to be a little more serious than what the article looked like, so... Right, good uh, good opportunity to learn that don't always trust the headline, because the headline uh, was a lot more... I don't know. seemed a lot more... A lot bigger than what it seems to be. Okay, let's turn off Dark Raider. Makes my chat look weird. Stop Peyton. Um, I, did I give you 24 months? I think I did. I appreciate it, thanks so much, dude. Uh, did I ever play Smite? No, I did not. Wait, hey Flats, could you stop exaggerating all the time when it comes to ball? You and several other streamers pushing this BS that he's S plus S tier has made it so devs have shit canned him for this season. Are you fucking stupid? Like, genuinely. Are you dumb? Do you, like, hit your head on the stairs walking up today? You know, Ball was S tier at the beginning of the season, right? That's what everyone said. And then as the season went on, everyone said, no, not anymore. 
Yes, you are being stupid. Where is this? Where is this pandering that he's still S tier? Hang on. Let, let's go find the tier list. Let's go find my last one, shall we? Updated season two. Huh. Let's go look at the end. Where's the S tier? This is before mid-season patch, by the way. We haven't done my mid-season patch tier list. You know what? We're going to do that today, actually. So, uh, this is pre-mid-season patch, post-beginning-of-season hog buff. A tier. So, there's no S. You're wrong. Two, he's literally getting a rework. So, uh, clearly, when a character is impending a rework, they don't buff the character. Because that's stupid, because Ball is one of those characters that if you buff the numbers, he just becomes another numbers character and becomes frustrating to deal with. So the fact that they've said that they're looking to rework him means it's just like Hog in the beginning of the year. When Hog was oppressive and OP, they nerfed him into the ground and then said, yeah, we're reworking him. And everyone goes, okay, and they wait for the rework. That is legitimately fucking idiotic. Why don't they buff my character? Hello? So if you're gonna come at me, at least come at me and have like correct things about what I've said. Because you're incorrect on what you said, that I said. So. The ball hasn't had a single season or even a week where he's been good. Killer and play a little bit more defensive. I When did the original tier list come out when the new season started? That would be a good way to base. Where is season nine? Season nine, season nine. Season nine. Right here, so one month ago, and on February 18th. So let's go to Overwatch Esports. February 18th was what? month and seven days ago so let's what oh, do they not save that far back damn they don't save that far back well time to go to my own vods i guess videos mass broadcasts ah oh, shit i forgot to pause videos Mass broadcasts, and then where would it be? I mean, here's literally a thumbnail of me playing ball, I me mean, being forced to play ball. So maybe this one has some. Played a little ram. This is like when ball was like, oh, there's a ball on the other team. Even though I don't like play ball at all, there's ball on the other team having to play them. Here's more ball. Trying to play D.Va. Here's more ball. I give up on the ball because I'm not good at ball. I'm going Arissa. Tried Rhine. Go back into Q. Play D.Va again. Wow, these are some short freaking Qs in here. There's a ball on the other team. This is just from one day at the beginning of the season. I try some Winston. Probably get fucking smoked. Ball again, more ball, more ball. And if you know me, I don't ever play ball because I'm not good at ball. <clears throat> Little Winston, oh look at that, more ball. Let me try to force some Ryan. More ball. You want to go to the next VOD? Uh, because for the first two weeks of the season, uh, of this season, Ball was the meta pick. Do you, what, do you need more? I can keep going. Like, if this wasn't, if this isn't enough for you, I'm totally fine. I, I can, I can look for more. You might be like, Shermer, that's, you know, only one day of games. That's fine. I can keep going. If you're still here. You're probably not still here, though.
No, it's fine. Okay. So, can we say that you were incorrect and Ball was strong for the first two weeks of the season? Because Ball was meta for the first two weeks of this season. And he absolutely was. Unfortunately, OWCS matches weren't being streamed at that time. Oh, Overwatch Esports has the YouTube VOD? Lovely, thank you. Overwatch Champions Series Japan. Beautiful, this is what we needed. All right, let's skip ahead. First games. Uh, there's some Ball versus Junker Queen. Here's some more Ball versus Junker Queen. Skip ahead. Winston's well, this is, Kings Row is notoriously a terrible ball map. Skip ahead again. Ball versus Winston. That's a highlight of another game, but that was Ball versus Winston. Ball versus Ball. Ball versus Ball. Ball versus Zarya. Doom versus Hog. That's actually interesting. Hog versus Orisa. That's another map, though, that's kind of difficult for Ball, this one. So they're playing Doom. Yeah, I probably... Oh, this is a... Is this a recap? I do love seeing some balls. Oh, that's a recap or not. Doom versus Hog. So if we go through the heroes that were played most on the tank roll through that one VOD right there, would we would we probably say that Ball was the number one? Okay. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Okay, so again. Ball was clearly good for the first two weeks of the season. That's when everyone said he was really, really good. And then there was updated tier lists that were made. And people talked about it and said, yeah, Ball is still pretty good. Like, he's, he's still good, just not the best pick anymore. And then Sombra got buffed at mid-season, and now Ball's not as good. Because Ball's really good. Sorry, Sombra's really good. So why play Ball when Sombra's really good? Because the whole point you played Ball was about survivability. You played Ball because all the tanks were super, super weak with the new DPS passive, and the way things were balanced out. So you played Ball because you could survive a lot. And Doomfist too, which by the way, was one of the characters I said was really strong. And most people said, no, you're lying, you're wrong. And then he ended up being, you know? So, anyways, if you're gonna come at my neck, at least come at me correctly, I guess. Let's move on, shall we? Um, mm. I have a couple other things we can do today. I actually do need to make my mid-season tier list. Haven't done that yet. Stop. Uh, stop, thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate it. Um, try to say the other tanks sucked. That doesn't mean Ball was good. I know. The tanks didn't get any changes. It was both survivability. Yeah, right. So that means Ball was the meta pick, right? Was it not? No, no, that wasn't your point. No, 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 don't change the... Don't say that was my point. They didn't make any ball viable or more fun to play. He was the only tank that didn't explode straight away. No, that was not your original point. That is... Don't you move your goddamn goalposts on me. You said, Flats... And I quote... Here you go. You said, hey, and I quote... Hey, Flats, could you please stop exaggerating all the time when it comes to ball? You said... And several other streamers are pushing this BS that he is S plus S tier and made it so the devs have shit canned him for the season. Bro, don't you move your fucking goalposts on me. You literally, you started this. Yo, flat. Don't, don't sit here. I hate when dude, people do this all the time. And then they say like, oh, you're moving. No, dude, you literally started this. You were the first person. And then you come down here and goes, no, that was my point. They didn't make ball viable. No, it, that was not $9. your point. Yeah, it was not your point at all. Your point was that I was quote unquote exaggerating how good ball is. That was not what you said. So don't, don't fucking come at me with that. That's bullshit. Yo, Alex, thanks for the 10. I appreciate it, dude. Don't, don't fucking hit me with that. Dead on. Uh, but he's kicking me four months. God. Get here, dude. He's uh, 
Anyways, can we finally move on now? Because I've, I've given you like four opportunities to move on. So we're going to go again. Anyways. Uh, yeah, okay. We got tier list for mid-season. Haven't made that yet. I still got like one or two spectating codes that we could, get, could do. Um, let me see. I think we have some TikToks, do we? Some TikToks. I don't know if we really need to do TikToks today, but we have some TikToks. Um, I think we're caught up on RFS. And... Let's see if I got any other ones. I think Kark, you had a... I uploaded. Yeah, these streamers miserably failed the Overwatch ability icon quiz. Yeah, he's got another one of those, which obviously we wouldn't upload Keep for like up two weeks, but we could watch death. it today. That thing looks awesome. You just government named me? Yo, I think it's 22 months. Appreciate it. Um, am I playing with a calculator? Nah, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I kinda wanna play variety again today. Aspen made J3 look good. Nah, ain't no way. That's bad. Uh, Gonzo, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it, buddy. And, uh, yo, Bob, thank you for the super chat as well. What's up, dude? I'll let TTS grab that. Five Canadian dollars oh, Jesus Bob Christ. Hey, Flats, what are your thoughts on a skin for Torbjorn that's just him in a mini version of Reinhardt's Samler with a mini version of his hammer? <laughs> That would actually probably go hard. That actually probably go hard. Um, I didn't do bad on the ability quiz. I'm better at that than Overwatch itself. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people, like myself included, like I never look at the icons. You know what I mean? I'm always using like my peripheral vision. I never even look at them. You know. Are you gonna queue? Nope. Actually, no. I'm not gonna queue at all. No, just because you said that, I'm not queuing again. I'm not queuing for the whole day. How about that? <clears throat> but uh, yeah. There's some. There's some ones like Zarya's like bubble one. Hang on. Have you ever seen this one? Let me show you. This one's fucking evil. We will crush them. The passive? I might be covering it. The energy passive? Have you ever seen that icon before? That's an evil one, isn't it? You might you might originally think uh projected barrier. You originally saw that without any, uh, what's it called? Lucio Pass is the worst one. Let me see. We're here <laughs> Wait, that is evil! Wall ride, jumping wall. <laughs> How does that make any sense? Why is it a head with a lightning bolt? Holy shit, dude. Okay, you weren't lying. That's actually crazy. That's funny. Uh, is there any other good ones? I think Briggs Rally is up there. Oh yeah, this one, Inspire. Dude, Inspire is fucking evil as well. That's evil. It's mostly the passive ones that are evil. But yeah. Someone needs to fill this Check the Genji one? What's the Genji one? All right, this is the last one though, then we're gonna move on. Wait, so what's Kiri's then? I'll find my own path. And that is that what Hanzo's is too? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, 
Yeah, I didn't even know those. <laughs> to be honest. To fill this saddle. Well, Genji's about w double jump and wall climb, so it's different. What the fuck did I just see? Bro said, oh, 22, oh, 20 months on subscription, thanks. I guess he rich does, don't matter, lol. Six Canadian dollars and 99 okay. cents from Riley Let's do a little breakdown for this one, okay? Made me start to really let's do a little breakdown for this one. Since uh, you want you wanna, you wanna to be that guy. As a sub -main Where are you at? Uh, this is Any you. First time chatter. You said, bro said, 22 months subscription, thanks. I guess the rich don't matter. Uh, you know, I said th thanks because I was caught off guard because uh, where's 22 months guy? Right here. He's been here for 22 months. He's a big memer. He's been here for a long time. He says, keep up the great work, Jeff. Do you know whose name is Jeff? Hi. You know what my response is what I said out loud? You must have not heard that because uh, you're fucking too tuned in on your iPad and fucking, you know, I don't have subway surfers up in the corner, so you're not able to pay attention for very long periods of time. So I will refresh your memory really quick. I said, did you just government name me? Thanks for the 22 months. Which is me clearly memeing back with them. I know. Hang on. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Shut the fuck up, pussy. Anyways, all right, we're done. With, we're done with the shitters today. I'm done with it. Uh, anyways, yeah. If I catch you with some dumb shit again, it was your first time. You're gonna get a pass. If I catch you again, you're toast. Okay, sound good? Cool. Uh, anyways, cool. You know what? Let's do tier list today. We're gonna, it's, the, 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 the weirdos are here, it'll be a great time to farm them. Let's do it. Alright, let's reset this. I once did an Overwatch quiz with my friends to guess abilities, when I devilishly put in a few passives like Zayu and Genji, they thought I was making up icons and didn't believe me. It was hysterical. Making up who? Oh, icons. I thought that said Pycons. I was like, what the fuck? Gonna add a row below for F. Okay. Alright, let's rearrange. Why did I join to stream seeing flats bowing to someone? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Trust me, you don't want to know. I'm hitting the button so I can watch you dumpster weirdos uninterrupted. Thank you for hitting the button. I can, you know what? I, in, in celebration of you hitting the button, I'm going to hit the button. <sighs> Are they in order? We got an order here. Four dollars and ninety nine cents from Alex. Oh, the Little. weirdos are definitely here. I am so you know the rest. Follow me. Five dollars <laughs> from Clone Trooper Wheeler. What is your the English alphabet? Is scary. A B C? No, thank you. Streamer, why aren't you donating? Saying thank you to every single dono. I don't know, man. I can't fucking hear anything. I I'm fucking losing my damn mind. I don't even know what the fuck I even heard anymore. Just voices. I can't tell if they're in my head or real. <sighs> all right, where do those all? Where do they even come from? Um. Yo, cake. Thank you for the super chat over on YouTube. Appreciate it. Uh, any tips? Die less. Do more damage. Uh, what's your preference on peeps and hobbies? Streamer never says thank you. He's so ungrateful. He must be really yeah. rich. Yeah. Fuck you. Uh, how about that? Uh, feta cheese. Um, thank you for the 32 months, Mega. Uh, and be my thing for the two months. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Relax. 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 Okay. Uh, settle down. Behave, or we're going to have to turn TTS off, okay? Because, you know, we, we got to we gotta farm some content, okay? Wow. That's almost a year of never hearing thank you. He really is rich Kappa. Wow. 37 months. That is almost a year. To that is true. Almost coming up on one year. Um, cool. 
Oh god. Oh god. There's more. There's so the the T dude, the TTS is flowing. What is this? Four dollars and ninety-nine cents from introverted nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-six. Flats as a ball main since Overwatch 2. I can confidently say that ball was S tier. Sometimes people say something just to say something. <laughs> Damn, I wish you were here earlier. I would have loved an inter chat fight for that one. That would have been fantastic. Oh, thanks for the five, though. I appreciate it. <sighs> okay. All right, we good? We all settled in. We're all we're all calm again. Cool. All right, Chad's time. It's mid season. Mid season was like what? Over a week ago, actually. I think. Was it over a week ago? When did our video go up? Okay, so, so it was a week ago. Um, and I haven't been hardcore grinding as much. Uh. I'm gonna be honest with you, when the MAGA became meta for a week. Actually, since wait, no, it's two weeks since mid-season, right? Thank his subs and change his shirt. Although, yep. in all seriousness, this man is extremely appreciative and even thanks for small bits and goes back to make sure he thanked oh. people. A true lad, big respect. Yo, thanks for the 200 bits. Fuck you, make it 300 next time. Um. <laughs> oh, this one's gonna take that serious. Uh, so actually, no, it has been two weeks. Tier, I lied. It has play. been two weeks. It has been two weeks. They just reverted the stuff after a week. Yeah. And thanks for the 200 bits. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, didn't you hear me? I said make it 300 next time. Thank you, Vesk. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it's been two weeks. It's been two weeks since the mid-season patch. Uh, it was one week, so they reverted it. Okay, so let's give him credit. This was the fucking Giga Malga meta. Too. How dare you challenge me? Wow, they actually did 300 bits. That, yeah, you, I, you, you ask and you shall receive. Are you my right, chat? Uh, so two weeks ago was mid-season. 300, make it 500. Yeah, see, that's the kind of motivation we like to see around here. I mean, 500 bits. Uh, but yeah, so it's been two weeks since mid-season, I apologize. But one week since the Malga Okay, here change. is 300 bits. Thank you. Thank you for the 300 bits. I appreciate it. Much love. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Uh, yo. I'm sorry, you did ask. Okay. I forgive you. This time. Don't let it happen again. Um, Kanskushi. Kanskushi? Kushishi? Kanskushi? Yo, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Hey, my man. That's how you go above and beyond right 500. there. 500. Make it 1,000. That's how you go above and beyond right there. Let's... Let's go. Thank you, Chevy, for the thousand bits. Appreciate it, dude. Thank, thank you. Uh... <laughs> I gotta let TTS catch up. I've got something to say. Something. You're welcome. Yep. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh... Fuck. K-Flax looking sharp. New blue shirt. Uh, uh, no, I, actually, it's the same shirt. I wear the same shirt every single day because that's what chat says. Can we get 10 gifted for a new shirt? Uh, yo, Bunny Girl Supremacy thing with 12 months. I appreciate Hi, it. Wait, Thanks for it's actually a nice making one. making the best content. I love watching your stream while I study or at school, and you've helped me feel a lot better about college and less stress. Nah, I'll, everyone's Just memeing it, and you ask, come up with something do nice. Do you think they should rework Mercy slash replace Reese? Probably not. No, it's part of our identity. Thank you for the 12 months, though. Everyone's memeing, and then it was like a nice message. It was like, wait, oh, hang on. I gotta shift gears for a sec. Holy shit. Tell controls with 1, the... 1,000 what? More like 5,000. Damn, dude. 5,000 bits. Hey. That, that's how you go above and beyond. Yeah, uh, you know what? Hey, you know what? What? Dude, you should have told me to say that earlier, dude. My bad. My bad. I appreciate the 5,000 bits. Steps out of cresting to the tier one. Yo, Blues, Barry with a thousand bits. Wait, I'll let, I'll let TTS get those. What the fuck? Flats is an extortionist. Now, what can I say? What can I say? <clears throat> and I'm not going to thank a single one of them either. Yep. Not a single one. <clears throat> God damn it, Flats. Look what you did now. This is like an auction. We are going for 3k next. 
Can we get a 3k? Can we get a 3k? Uh, thank you, thank you for the 200 bits. Okay, let's actually get this fucking tier list done. Okay, are we good? All right, memes aside. Thank you so much, so serious. I appreciate you guys. Thank, thanks for making that a fun time. Chat. You always get the one weirdo who comes out of fucking nowhere, and then chat just fucking goes all in. You all love to see it. Okay, so it's been two weeks since midseason. Uh, one week since the chat, the patch. I haven't been grinding a ton, mostly because that one week of Malga literally killed any motivation to play this game. Uh, that being said, I also had been playing a ton before that, so a little bit of burnout. But that being said, also, I've also been keeping up with the game. I've played some ranks since then. I've been watching the OWCS. I have a pretty good idea on where characters are laying at the moment. Yo! Thank you for the five gifties, Bluesberry. I appreciate it. And Rose all day with a 369. Nice. Bits. I appreciate it. Chad, you get some issues, so thank you. Let's get weird chat. True. Alright. I'm poor friend, this is 10,000. Yo, thank you for the 10,000 bits, Athena. Yo, I appreciate it. Yo, thank you so much. You're crazy. Yo, much love. Oh, hang on. I wasn't supposed to say thank you. My bad. Uh, uh, thank Fact you for the expected chance, bits. I'm letting you start this video. Well, I'm starting it now. Get fucked. Thank you for two months. Uh, okay. First up, uh, the demon and destroyer of worlds, the worst thing probably to happen to Overwatch since Brig. Uh, whenever his meta just trashes the entire game and is low key actually probably still slept on toward this day is Malga. We start him off strong, we throw him in the A tier. You remember one of my previous tier lists? Malga was still like B or C tier. Uh, and if you remember, Malga got really buffed right here, giga buffed almost. And it was hard to tell when I looked at it originally because I was like, hmm, I don't know. Like, they changed the way, like, his E worked a bit, but the overhealth was big. I was like, wow, the overhealth's probably going to be strong, but I'm not sure about the smaller cooldown, shorter duration. It might be good, might be bad. I was wrong, and I'm like, oh, it might not be that bad. It was fucking bad. So then they reverted it up here. But here's the thing, though, when they reverted it. They did not revert again the Can you start stomp. Over? I wasn't paying Fuck attention. Fuck you. They need the 369 bits. Uh... Basically, his overrun, he's like, oh, that still is buffed. And so it, the damage on it went, I think, from when, like what? Like, it's like 60 to 120 if you like land on somebody or something like that. Um, so it's pretty big burst damage. Uh, and then his E got reverted to the way it was. It was 45 to 60. But even is it if you land on somebody dead on, like a headshot, isn't it like, is it 80? Is it 80 then? I don't know why, where I got 120 from. Or is it 120 for the headshot? Karki told me that if you land on someone dead on, it's like the headshot, it's like 120, I think. Okay, so that's what it is. So, so the base is 60, but if you headshot someone landing on them, it's 120? I don't know. Anyways, point is, Malga is still better now than where he was before the, the Season 9 mid-season patch. And he's actually still getting play in OWCS, just not as much. Um, the OWCS roster is pretty much four heroes plus a tank. Um, and now you might say, oh, well, no shit floods. I meant like four, the same four heroes pretty much are played. And then the tank is the one that's kind of being rotated out, which is... Both good and bad uh, in a lot of ways. But yeah, Malga low-key really still slept on. Um, I think he's almost like a Rissa, where people don't want to play him uh, because he fucking sucks to play. But if he's strong, then people will play him, just like a Rissa. Right? It's a bit party. Hope I made it in time. I'm on Internet Explorer. Fuck you. Name of the two Um, alright. Next up, Doomfist. Uh, Doomfist actually is still really good. Uh, but you have to be good at Doom. That's the problem. And so people always sit there and go, Well, Fuds, if not everyone can play Doom, then maybe the hero's not good. No, shut up. I'm sorry. Like, I agree with you at the same My time. Right here, we got it. Speed it up. Okay, I'm 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 muting you guys. I'm sorry. You guys you guys are getting put in fucking jail for the rest of the tier list. Uh you guys cannot control your TTSs. Anyways, um, yeah, basically, Doom is still really good if you're good at Doom, and a lot of teams still play Doom, depending on what maps and what comps and whatnot they're running, uh, and I would still say he's probably the same thing in about an A tier, really, really good, but he's also significantly more difficult to play, 
So because he's more difficult to play uh, than other tanks, most people won't play him. That doesn't mean Doom is bad. That just means you're not good at Doom, which is fine. Nothing's wrong with that because I'm in the same boat as you, but Doom is still good. Junker Queen. Junker Queen's weird because I think Junker Queen is a lot worse now because people have figured out how to play against her. So I'm going to give her a B. And what I say by people have figured out how to play against her is there's one character right now, especially in ladder, where you just pick and then Junker Queen is basically useless. It's Cass. Cass fucking shits on Queen because Queen has to play in the range where Cass is good. The hinder actually is one of the only things that like is still useful is versus queen like hinder versus like tracer and shit is fucking useless. You're never hit. You're never hindering a tracer, right? Like you're never hindering a Genji. You're never hindering any of these flankers. It doesn't happen. Where does the hinder go 90% of the time on the tank? But what can you do with the cast versus the fucking queen? If you know she's going to go for queen alt in a second pre hinder, you might get lucky and then she goes for her alt and gets hindered. Or the big one is you hinder her shout. And so she goes for the, the, the aggressive shout play. You throw the hinder fucking back away. Even if she knifes you, you still roll and you just keep headshotting her on cooldown. She dies. Um, in organizer coordinated play, it might be a little bit better. But there's just better picks than Queen. Uh, and we'll get to those in a minute. But Queen, I think, comes down a tier to B. Winton. Um, this is a hard one. Because... There's two answers. The answer is if you're fucking exceptionally good at the game, like top tier, you're playing in like the best ranks, like you're playing top 10 level, uh, you're you're playing on like pro teams, you're scrimming, then he's probably into the A or S. But for ranked, I don't think that's true. I think for ranked, he's just not as good. Uh, and the reason why I don't think he's good and ranked is because basically part of what what winston does at this point is just make space for your two dps especially your tracer and your tracer bubble dances with your winston right so like you know like that's a big thing when you play tracer or sorry when you play winston you drop your bubble and then like dance between the bubble you're basically engaging to drop a bubble for your tracer so they can kill shit does that coordination happen in ranked a lot of times no do you also have the amount of healing and support that you would have in ranked versus the team play no like it's just it's too hard like it genuinely is too fucking hard and i think you're going to notice something with this tier list where characters that are just genuinely too fucking hard to play probably aren't going to be ranked very high while the characters that are easier to play are probably not going to be ranked or are probably going to be ranked higher with one exception being doomfist that being said let's go to the best tank in my opinion currently is orissa I'm kind of half tempted to throw her in S tier, actually. Like, I don't know if I totally think she's S tier, but like in ranked, I think she could be. I'm I'm still torn, but Arissa's really good. Um, you turn your brain off, you fucking stand there, and don't die. You shoot their tank slash their Arissa. If they're playing tank, you shoot their tank if they're playing one of these tanks. Shoot the tank. Shoot the tank. Don't shoot the tank. Depends, but probably not shoot the tank. Unless you spear him. Shoot the tank. Shoot the tank. Shoot the tank. Don't shoot the tank. Shoot the shield a little bit, then shoot others. Shoot the DM. Shoot the tank. Shoot the tank. You just basically stand there and don't die. And that's your whole job. And it's really annoying. And it's really boring. And Orissa is one of those characters that's just a stat pattern character where where she just is good because she can exist really, really hard. And that's it. Uh, that's personally why I haven't played a whole lot of ranked in the last week because like, even though Mauga is not hard meta, Mauga is still really good, but Orissa is really good. And there's a couple other pet tanks we're going to get to in a minute that I think are also pretty good, but I think Orissa is the easiest turn your brain off, get a good, good amount of value. He's still played a lot, actually, a top-level play. They play her a lot in OWCS. Uh, I wouldn't say she's dominating OWCS. You still see Malga. You still see Winston. You still see Doomfist. You see a lot of Ram, actually. You see a lot of Sigma, actually. And even... I don't know if I'd say a ton of Diva and Zarya, but, like, you can see some of that stuff, right? But Arrest is getting enough play in both pro play and ladder play that I think I have to give her the S tier as the best tank. 
Ryan. <sighs> There's just no point. There's just no point. Just don't do it. Don't do it, dude. It's such a bait. Because if you play in the metal ranks, you're bronze to like gold or plat. You might think Ryan's actually really good. And you wouldn't be wrong. You wouldn't be wrong. But once you cross the threshold of like Diamond Masters, Ryan becomes so ex exponentially harder to play that it's just more advantageous for you to learn another tank. It's fucking bad. There's no point. His niche is dominated by other tanks at this point. You're just an outdated hero. I'm sorry. And don't get me wrong. There's people out there who can still play Ryan and win games. But man, do they literally want to chew on some glass. They hate their fucking experience. It's so terrible. Like, like genuinely... On some basic level somewhere, you play video games for fun, right? Like, you play video games for fun, whether that fun comes from winning, whether that fun comes from improvement, whether that fun comes from friends, whether it comes from something. I cannot conceive a single place where Ryan is fun. There just isn't. There just isn't. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. You just get CC'd into oblivion. Stunned. You can't reach anybody. Your fire strike up off, which is nice and feels better, but just play Zari and stand a little bit further away and do way more damage. Or play Ramacha and just fucking punch him to death. And anytime you get in trouble, you go, oh. And really, you want to be a dick, just play a fucking Arissa and stand there and shoot at him. And then now, now what? Now you can't get to play the game. And you're trying to pin? Spear. You're trying to walk at you? Spinny spear. You're trying to swing on him? Fortify. The entire time, never stop shooting. Like, oh man, it's painful. Next up, another A-tier tank is Ramatra. Ramatra is A-tier, and it's not for why you probably think. Um, yeah, I don't even know if Ryan getting a sniper rifle would really help at this point. But Ramatra meta, at least in high-level play, has become block simulator. Do you notice something in common with these two tanks of Ryan and Ram I mean Ramatra and Orisa? Is they just have extremely good damage mitigation. And for Ramatra, it's just walking up and going... Punch! 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 And you just kind of wait till everyone leaves you alone. And if you've watched any like OWCS, it's very funny because in the team fights, you'll see everyone go to all in the tank. He goes to block. They shoot him for like three or four seconds, realize they can't kill him because of the block and the heals, and they go, oh, okay. And then they look at other stuff and start like going elsewhere. And that's when then they like. They throw like one punch and then they turn back around and they go, whoop, wasn't me. Like, <laughs> it's so sad. It's actually so sad. Um, and it just feels terrible, you know? Like, whether you think tank is balanced or not, it just feels terrible. And I, I think that's what a lot of people are misunderstanding when tanks are complaining about the game at this point. It's like, it doesn't matter if you think it's balanced. It doesn't matter how you think the game looks from your POV. If you've played the tank POV a lot in this past few seasons, in this season especially, I think you start to understand that, like, it's just genuinely not as enjoyable. Um, and it's weird, because you both have the most pressure on you to perform, but, like, it's also the most expected, right? Like, if you don't play perfectly, your team hates you and, like, wants you to fall off the map IRL, uh, but even if you do play perfectly, like it's like, well, you should, you were supposed to do that. But if a widow hits four shots in a row and kills four people, everyone's like, oh my god, you're fucking insane, you're nuts. Or if a support like survives, gets a good alt off, sleeps, sleeps somebody, right? Or uh, it gets a big cleanse, or whatever it is. Like, oh my god, you popped off, like that was huge. Nope, doesn't happen on tank roll. Tank roll is just like. Just stand there. So, anyways, that's for Macho. Uh, this might be controversial. I think this is probably going to be extremely controversial. Uh, but low key, I think Hogs like an A tier. I think Hogs actually fucking insane and ranked. <sighs> actually insane. I don't know why they buffed his heal. 
and then didn't revert it when they changed the DPS passive because the DPS passive was what works was keeping Hog from being really really good I think, and then they buffed his heal resistance, so he takes less damage, and heals better. And then they also nerfed the DPS passive and just made him better. At least in ranked, it just feels like Hog just like oh man, just feel like you bump into a wall. But then it's the same shit. If like you have Arissa and a Hog on the other team, you just stand there and look at each other, you know. And every time the Hog looks for a hook, you spear him out of it or try to like take it with your fortify or spinning spear or whatever. And then plus they also buffed the Hog hook, right? Or it brings them in closer. So like the Hog one shots kind of back, right? Where you have the trap plus the the hook, it doesn't boot them up as high. So you do more damage, you have the one-shot kind of back, and you survive better, you know? Hog low-key, I think, is extremely good, at least in ladder. And I guess, like, some teams have tried to play a little bit in OWCS in, like, other regions. Uh, but I don't think really NA is. I think it was, like, one NA game. Or NA, EMCA. I think, what was it? Like, Timeless or something played it the other day? But I think they were kind of trolling. I think they were low-key trolling. So, anyways, though, Hog actually pretty good. Uh, to round up that tier up top, I would actually say Sigma's really good, too. Uh, Sigma's always going to be one of those tanks that's just consistently pretty good. Uh, maybe not, like, meta-defining, but there's always at least a few maps where you always will pick Sigma. Your Circuit Royales. Kind of your Junkertown. Not as much as Junkertown anymore, but definitely your Circuit Royale. He just can kind of do everything. Um, and I would I would argue that if you ever are in a situation in the game where you say to yourself, holy fuck, I don't know what to play here, just pick Sigma. Genuinely. Like, if you, if you are at a loss and you don't know what to do, like your team's discombobulated, you're not playing the best, they just have the goat on some role on their team, just play Sigma. Just play Sigma. You'll probably figure it out. Um... What's next? Diva. I think Diva's really good too, uh, but I wouldn't put her on the same level as these guys. I think you still play them on like, you know, your Gibraltar, your Dorado seconds, your Numbani first, you know? Uh, but I feel like these guys are just a different level, you know? They're just a different level at this point about surviving, um, at least in ladder, right? It's different with like team play and it's different with like, you know, organized scrim play or top 10 lobbies but diva's still really good just like you know if it's not really a dive map are you really gonna do you really want to pick diva probably not probably not you know but she's still really good exceptionally good so solid b uh this is a tough one actually I kind of want to throw Zarya in the A, because I actually seen some people shredding on Zarya. But I also don't think she's as good as, say, like, Ramatra. But at the same time, though, in ladder, I'm not sure. It'd be probably bottom of A, top of B at the worst. I Yeah, I'd say she's a ranked demon, probably. Ranked demon. Rank demon for sure. Um, I don't know how I feel about this one. This is a tough one. Because if like you're a really good Zarya, you farm. Like you fucking farm. But it's not as much of turn your brain off, just pick this character and stand in the corner and say it's like Arissa or Ramatra, right? So I don't know if I want to put her in the same tier. Nah, I'm not going to overthink it. That's fine. A is fine. <sighs> Tang is a bad roll. A 7S champs to choose from LMAO. You know when you make a tier list, right? The whole point of the tier list is to have impactfulness on words you're saying. So S tier is like the best. F tier is the worst. There's also relativity, relativity where Ryan is fucking terrible. So if you compare Ryan to Queen, or Ryan to Winston, or Ryan to D.Va, they have to be significantly lower. So what do you do at that point? If S is your top, and I already have it here, the only thing I can do is bump them down to, to F, and then blow every down one, everyone down one tier. 
The whole point, though, is tank fucking blows, but if you watch any OWCS, they play tons of different tank. Why? Well, tank sucks, so, like, then that doesn't make sense, huh? Are you, like, are you, like, did you, like, fucking, like, fall out of bed this morning? They play four of the same other heroes, but on tank, they have to consistently either A, counter swap, B, change because of a map, C, change because something's happening. That, that is still, like, you're locked in the tank role. If you didn't have to play tank, you might play something different. But you put, the reason they're all placed there is because you have to try different stuff all the time. Right? Like, you, you have to swap it. Like, you just, different situations, different things are good, different things are good in different places. And it's also relative, right? Like, if you're talking impactfulness, dude, this Sigma player is probably not going to have the same impactfulness as an Insane Tracer player. The Insane Tracer player, player would go in S, S, S plus tier and just runs the whole lobby, right? But that doesn't mean the character, as it's on its own, deserves to be that much higher, right? Like, Tracer Surprise is going to be S tier because it's one of the best characters you can pick, right? That being said, it doesn't talk about your impactfulness on the lobby or the game. It talks about what your options are. I thought that was fucking basic knowledge of talking about making a tier list, but Jesus. God, some of you guys are just brainlets today. Uh, for ball, I'd probably say C at best. Um, you see good balls every once in a while. Uh, but I honestly, he's a lot like Ryan in a lot of ways where it, like it's map dependent and a lot of other stuff. Uh, but I'd argue a good ball is probably better than a good Ryan at this point. Um, but yeah, so like, it's not great. Like it's not like we, these two, these two should be in a new category called do not pick these. Right. Uh, but at least ball, you can get good value on certain points on certain maps. And you accused us. Oh, dude, you're the same dude from earlier. You're the same dude from earlier who was upset about pushing S tier ball propaganda, and now you're upset that ball is C tier. Bro, pick a fucking lane. Pick a fucking lane, dude. The reason why ball isn't that good is one, because Sombra's a lot better. Sombra's a lot better. Two, half the time with the way the game is developed at the moment, the reason why you don't pick ball is you don't have a front line. He's F tier. Hey, go make your own fucking tier list, dude. I don't care. You're going to type in my, sit in my chat and fucking scream in all, all, all caps the entire day. But you also expect me to take you seriously when you were also the same person who did this. Hey, Flats, could you please stop exaggerating all the time when it comes to ball? You and several other streamers have been pushing that he's S plus S tier and has made the devs shit cannon for no reason. Meanwhile, there's an up, there's literally a rework coming. So... Yeah, maybe uh, look in the mirror. There could be a little bit of bias going on in that one, uh, potentially. Who knows? <sighs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, so. Regardless. Okay. Um... I love how I looked over and somebody said, I disagree, Cloudy put Ryan an S. You ever looked at a Cloudy tier list before? You understand he puts S, Ryan, every single tier list, right? That's like his meme. Like, are you guys fucking dense? Did you get hit in the head with some coconuts? That's literally his fucking meme. Every time the guy makes a tier list, he puts Ryan an S. Why do you think that is? God, I'm going to lose my fucking marbles today. Anyways, next, Soldier. Uh, Soldier low-key, okay. Uh, I wouldn't say he's like OP or anything. Solid B. Uh, not a whole lot to say here. Good against, like, Queen. Uh, good against, like, annoying, like, Arisa if you have a Zen. Good against annoying, like, Zarya. Good against po poking out, like, uh, a Rhine, even. Um, but you know where Soldier gets shit on? Tracer, Ball Dive. If they go ball, tracer, dive, you know who instantly dies? Soldier. Instantly. 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 Ball, tracer, roll, soldier. 
Do you agree with that one, uh, Mr. Ball Connoisseur, if you're still here? Because I don't think there's a single ball player on the planet that would disagree with that one. Oh, so what's that? So, so, there's a ball, so there are some places for ball? That would mean he's not F tier, because F tier means not playable anywhere. Just saying, poking some holes in the theory. Anyways, let's move on. Uh, Ash, I'd say is pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I want to put A back in Ash, or a Ash back in A again. I do think she is really, really good, though. Um, hang on, let me look at the rest of this list. Probably, actually. Yeah, for, uh... There's better options than Ash, I agree. But I don't think she's bad either. She's like a solid B plus A minus. I'm gonna stick to my guns. I'm gonna go B plus A minus on Ash. Bob is insane, correct. Um, but look what's meta right now. Hard wall, annoying fucking wall. DPSE fast pace dive, wall, wall, poke wall, really aggressive pub stomping brawl. Where is she really good here, right? I would argue not that great versus Arissa. I would argue pretty good against Malga. Mm, I'd say it's okay with Doom. I'd say it's okay with Ramatra. Really good against Hog. Not great versus Sigma, but doable. Really good versus Zarya. Right. So, ah, this is semantics. This, this is really a lot not to argue about B or A. I don't think it really matters too, too much. Well, let's move on. Bastion. Uh... Bastion low key is not that good. He's just annoying. He's just a tank destroyer. That's it. His whole niche at this point is destroying tanks. You know? That's it. Like if they have a really, 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 really good tank, but the rest of their team is terrible, and they're playing like Ryan, uh, Queen, not Malga, Ram, Hog, hell, even Zarya. Just May Bastion, isolate him for a second, you'll just explode him, you know? You know what I'm saying? But overall, Bastion's really not that good. So. Anyways. Cass. You know, I might be crazy for this one. I genuinely might be crazy for this one, but I don't care. I'm throwing Cass in the A tier. I think Cass is a ranked demon. I think he's a ranked demon. I think that you don't play him in pro play. You're not going to see him in OWCS very much because he's super easy to stop. But in ranked, like in your 99% of ranked games, destroys. Does tons. Can roll. Very annoying against. Can roll. Can roll slash very annoying against. Farms, but also like there's a trade-off, but can farm. Uh, not the best pick versus. Definitely annoying to play against. Farms. Farms. Not the best pick against. Farms. Farms. Right? So. Yeah. And, and, and organized play, you know just all in him, right? And you can't do anything about it. Give him no space. But in rank, that doesn't happen very often. So. Let's give him a solid A. I don't care. We're doing it. He actually does get played in OWCS quite a bit, especially in Korea. Really? I haven't watched OWCS Korea. I've been watched I have only watched really NA. Um, so that's interesting to hear. Echo. Um, I think Echo's low key pretty good. I think Echo's low key pretty good. Probably the best of the flex DPS, or close to it. There's one other that I might throw in there. Um the reason where Echo's so good is because look at the tanks that are meta. Orisa, Malga, Doom, Ramatra, Hog even, Sigma even, Zarya even. 
all of these tanks have multiple bailout abilities where her health for the first few seconds doesn't matter, right? The only one I would argue is maybe Hog where it's not great. Ramacha, you can immediately just put your shield down and then pop your shift so you go from 300 health to like 450, right? Doomfist, you immediately just start looking for your combos. Immediately, right? Mauga, same thing. You just immediately pop your E and start shooting their tank. Orisa, you immediately pop your Fortify, and there's no way you're instantly dying, right? Because a lot of the other tanks, if you copy Ryan, if you copy Ball, if you copy Queen... Actually, Queen's a little bit different because you have Shout. If you copy Winston, if you copy D.Va, um, you can get blown up really, really quickly because she doesn't have much health in copy form. Um, but with, like, the current tanks that are strong and the way that they're strong... Low key, low key, she's pretty good. Uh, Genji, I think Genji's very middle of the pack. I don't think he's good. I don't think he's bad. I think he's okay. You know, he's alright. He's okay. There's just not really reason to play Genji, even in dive. Just play Tracer Sombra or Tracer Sojourn. You know. Yeah. See ish? Nah. C, C is like below average in this. Look, look at what we have here. There's six categories, right? Like you're, when you say C, you're grading on a, an Americanized A to F format. We have S tier two. So C is slightly below average. You gotta look in these tier lists. Best, really good, good. Below average, really below average, fucking unplayable. F is supposed to be unplayable. Like legitimately don't pick the character. Hence, Ryan, like a season before the, any of the buffs, was F tier. Um, so yeah, I think I think way too many of you guys get fucking way too locked in over here instead of looking at like the overall sentiment of what's going on, you know? Okay, <clears throat> Hanzo. Um, I think Hanzo's not great, but not terrible. At least in a ranked format, I think he's okay. I don't think he's like good. I don't think he's bad. Uh, I could easily see him actually maybe even dropping a little bit. Uh, but I think that with, like, the way that the meta's shaken up, with, like, the way you play, like, the slower stand there tanks, he can kind of get a little bit more done. When Dive was really meta at the beginning of the season, mm -mm, no, it was, it was not not playable. But, yeah, Storm Arrow pumping into, like, this more sedentary... Sedent Hello? Sedentary tanks, like the tanks that don't fucking move. Uh, can be pretty strong, so. Uh, Junkrat. I'd say Junkrat's probably a little bit below average. Although in ranked, he's pro he's actually made a little bit of a comeback. Uh, definitely not the best pick, though. Definitely not the best pick. Uh, by any means necessary. So, you know, take that as you will. Not going to talk about Junkrat too much. Just probably don't, probably don't play Junkrat. But, like, if you play Junkrat, like, if you're really good at Junkrat, it's all right. You'll be fine. This might be a little controversial. I don't think May's that good. I think a May's just frustrating to deal with. May suffers this season a lot. Right? You know what May's good at? Walling. That's it. Once her wall's up, she's not useful. Her icicles aren't as impactful anymore. Hell, even her freeze isn't as scary anymore because it doesn't do as much damage relative to your health pool, right? It's just fucking annoying. May is just fucking annoying, you know? And her ult is just fucking annoying. Like, that is the best way of describing it. When you play against your May, your May, you're like, fuck you, I hate you, you smell, I hope you step on a Lego. It doesn't mean she's good, though, right? That's just That's just the way it is. Uh, next up, I'm actually going to knock Farah down a tier, to C tier, even though I think she's still pretty good. Um, I think just Hitscan had become so dominant with the new format that there's not really a reason to play Farah. you know? Even though I've seen some really good Farahs, they're so rare, and I feel like you just get, you just get shit on, you know? You just get shit on. Um... You need to hit, like, your first two rockets back-to-back. -back. So, I wouldn't advise playing her. But she's not the worst, either. Which might be okay. So. Uh, Reaper. I'm gonna keep Reaper in about that B tier. I think Reaper has a place. Um, in certain... 
games playing in certain heroes hey say your 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 ramatras your malgas your really aggressive brawl zarya like running out of zarya right like, like let's say you're playing versus zarya comp and you play like queen and like you're running at them you shout for your reaper and you run at their zarya yeah it can be pretty good it can be pretty good um but at the same time the reaper is very two-dimensional so you know as the tank you can explode really really quick versus reaper but also there's times where reaper's useless so a little bit of give and take all right next up big one easy s tier sojourn arguably the best dps in the game that's not named tracer uh what else is there to say, man? She's got it all. She's got crazy, crazy mobility on a short cooldown. Really good damage. Borderline fucking deletion one-shot potential. Like, yeah, obviously with, like, you know, the health pool changes and whatnot, um, it's not as bad anymore, which is great. Uh, but, man, when that overclock goes off, dude, it's just like this ends now. It's just like me looking at my watch and going... Well, hopefully she won't get another one of those before the end of the game. So we're all dead here. But maybe, you know, maybe she won't get it one more time. You know, uh, we're all dead. Uh, it just, it ends now and everybody dies. And it's sad. And that's just the way it is. But that's a high rank problem because in the lower ranks, apparently, Sojourn's really, really bad. Really, really bad. And that's the whole reason why they buffed her originally to make it so that she keeps 25% of her charge. Um... It doesn't go all the way to zero. It stops at 25 because lower ranks are fucking terrible. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. It's... I don't know if that's ever going to get fixed. You know? I don't know if that's ever going to get fixed. That's just one of those skill differences between like high-level play and low-level play. Um, so maybe in your ranked games, if you're like in your bronze to like plat area, maybe don't play Sojourn because she's really hard to play, apparently. Uh, but at least overall in the game, she's really, really good. So, uh, Next up, Sombra. Uh, I'd say Sombra's a solid A tier. Uh, she would have been an S tier pick before they reverted her ultimate charge time. Um, basically, Sombra was just running the fucking lobbies during that Malga week. It was just Malga v. Malga. And then depending on who you were playing against, they had like Sim, Sombra... Or it was like uh, Sombra Sojourn or Sombra Tracer. It was just like, dude, it was just fuck, dude. It was awful. It was so bad. Luckily, since then, Sombra's not playing as much. She's still really good, though. So Sombra's still exceptional. Symmetra. I'm going to give Symmetra at least a solid B. A solid B. This might have changed in the last week or so. Um, you know, as people started playing new stuff and there was a new patch and whatnot. Uh, but man, the psychological damage that Symmetra did to me in the one week where she got really buffed uh, two weeks ago was incredible. I've never felt more powerless in my whole life. Uh, <laughs> that being said, they did scale back some of the buffs she got. Um but her turrets still do a lot of damage. And I think we actually watched an OWCS game the other day where a sim single-handedly won them a point because the sim turret on the ground killed three people. Didn't we watch that together? Like, I feel like we, they were TPing back and forth and there was just a sim turret on the ground and it killed three different people. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it was a little... It was a little insane, um, to say the least, so... I, I give a little bit more respect to Symmetra than probably others do. So, anyways. Next up, Torb. Uh, Torb is going to get a solid B. Solid, solid, solid B. Maybe even... Honestly, I'm thinking about maybe giving Torb the A. Torb actually might deserve the A. Hmm. I might give him the A. Think about what's meta right now, chat. Look, look, look what's meta. Tracer. Okay, let's let's just get ahead of the game. Tracer's meta. Tracer's at S tier easily. 
Sojourn's not as great against, but Sombra's still really good, right? Cass is really good, at least in ranked, right? Torb is still good against all of these guys. Good against, like, Cass is an easy hitbox to hit, so a lot of times don't really have to struggle. Echo would be the outlier um, to deal with. But, yeah, like, if if they're playing, like, Doom, Tracer, Sombra, or anything like that, like, Torb is really good. And he, it's not like he does bad versus, like, Malga, right? Like, think about it. When Malga pops ult on his cage, if you have Torbal, you just walk in there and spray the whole ground. What's that Malga going to do? He has to cancel his cage or he's dead. You know? So, like, in some ways, Torb's actually a pretty decent counter to Malga. Uh, and you stop his big button, a.k.a. his cage. Same with May? No, no. I mean, well, the thing is with May is, like, you cancel his cage and you just overrun out of it. Torbolt, you still own the space, right? And it's like... May's also not as threatening. Like, the icicles aren't as threatening as Torb just popping his E and going, Cheeto, 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 headshot on you. You know what I mean? Um, so I wouldn't say May is the same caliber. I really wouldn't. Uh, but May is also really not that good versus Dive. And Torb is a lot better versus Dive. And the Torb turret obviously also provides the DPS debuff. So, I think he's low-key really good. That's That's my thing. Anyways. Uh, Widowmaker, uh, I'm going to give Widowmaker the solid B. Solid B tier. Um, can be really good on some maps. Can take over a whole lobby. On others, she doesn't do shit. So, Widow's very hit or miss. I'm going to give her a solid B. Middle of the road. Playable. Can be good. Just got to hit your fucking shots. You know? Okay. Last but not least... Support. Zen. I still hate playing against Zen. And it feels even worse with the DPS passive and Discord Orb. But I don't think he's that crazy. But he's still very strong, especially against current meta. Good versus Arissa. Can be good versus Malga. Not really. You don't want to really play versus Doom. Can be good versus Ramatra. Can be very good versus Hog. Probably don't want to play it versus Sigma. Probably don't want to play it versus Zarya, but can. I'm leaning between B and A. I'm leaning between B and A. Looking at the rest of this roster, I think I have to go A. Let's put him back a little bit. Let's put him back a little bit. Let's do the easy ones first, shall we? Let's do the easy ones first. Let's set the let's set this let's set the tempo. Kiri is an easy S tier. If you notice from OWCS this weekend, every single fucking team played either Kiri or Moira. The other character they played with was Lucio. Every fucking team played Lucio. Every single fucking team. Without fail, literally every single fucking team. I'm also throwing Moira in the S tier. Even though, realistically, Kiri Lucio should be on an S plus tier, almost. I'm not going to make that this time. The reason why I'm keeping Moira in the S tier with them is because Moira is still really, 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 really good. And it's just a playstyle difference, right? And especially in ranked, is kind of a ranked demon, right? Um, exactly, yeah. So, gotta give it, give it the credit. Uh, but these three have been dominating the game. Dominating at the highest level. To the point where you don't even see anything else, really. Um, we saw, like, I guess we've seen, like, a little brig and a little bat, but not really. Not really. So, let's go next to bat. Well, streamer, if you've only seen these three supports, the other ones must suck, right? No. It's actually not what it is at all. It's actually not what it is at all. They're still really good. I think BAP is actually really good. 
but just not as good as the top three. There's no point, right? Like, Zap just doesn't do enough healing compared to Moira. He doesn't do enough damage compared to Moira. And then doesn't have the utility of Kiri, right? Like, Lamp is good, but they also nerfed Lamp recently. Um, while Kiri has the best ability in the game, Suzu, and arguably one of the best ultimates in the game, it's Une Rush. And the ability to dual flankers. And the ability to not get dived. And the ability to fight back. So, you know, bro, what are you talking about? It's Moira slash Kiri. When I said they're all playing Moira and Kiri, that means they picked one of the two. The other one was this one. You don't play that. God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm now remembering why I make multiple tiers within the tier, same tier list. I don't need to because, like, guys, I swear, like, you don't listen. Like, you just don't, you don't fucking listen. I, oh my goodness. You don't play more. You're not gonna play more Akira together. You want the speed. You want utility. So Lucio's almost the always must pick. So you put Lucio over here. Okay, Lucio's off to the side, and then you pick one of these two. A lot. Of, most teams pick this one, but some teams pick this one, and because it was based off of preference and based off of map and based off of comp. But everybody picked this one. Listen. Lock in. Fuck. Anyways. Um. So yeah. Basically, these are the top ones. Bap is still really good, but just you just can't compete. Can't compete. Anna is a tough one. Because I think Anna low key is still pretty decent. But she suffers from the same problem Bap does. Where she just doesn't do enough healing to compete with Moira. Doesn't have the same utility as, say, Anna or as, as Kiri. Doesn't have the survivability of either of them. And that's the big one. Any of you who say C are absolutely insane. She's not C. Jesus Christ. Anna is not good as these guys because they're in their own fucking league. They're in their own league. You know what? Fuck it, dude. Ah, shit. What'd I just do? <sighs> own league. Please read. Okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> God, I'm losing my marbles with you guys today. Anyways, um, yeah, so Brig uh, would be another one of those ones where I think is actually low-key still really good. Still low-key really good. Uh, but again, there's just not a real reason to play her a lot of times because one, you don't play Brig with Brawl. Uh, there's not really a point to playing Brig with Brawl. Uh, and two, Dive's not really meta. So the di Brig's really good versus Dive. Dive's not meta. It's more like these stand there brick wall tanks. And also, she did get that repair pack buff. You're correct. Uh, so she's good, especially in ladder. But not like to the same level as these guys, right? They're not on the same level. Now let's come back around to Zen. Zen gets an easy A. Uh, looking at all the other ones and where we've talked about them, easy A. Zen's definitely better than Nana. For sure. For sure better than Nana. Um, still gets a lot of value on a lot of maps. The only problem with Zen is if you bump into a really good fucking tracer, you're probably going to have to swap. There happens to be lots of good tracers, but that doesn't mean Zen's bad. That just means Tracer is literally designed to eat you up. You know? That's whack. 
Okay, I guess. Uh, sure, man. But sleep? Uh, what about sleep? You're gonna... You... You're basically putting an entire character's ability to get value on hitting one singular 15 second cooldown? Overwatch is about consistency. Overwatch is about consistency. You get one shot to hit a good sleep. One shot. The chances of you hitting that one shot every single time are not that high. One. And two, what happens if there's two people and they won't hit one of them? Now what? You're dead. Next up, Ilari. Uh, Lari low-key, not bad. Ilari is actually low-key, not bad. Uh, the buffs they gave her did really, really good for her. Uh, but again, there's just not a really reason to play her. Uh, because there's just other supports that are way fucking better. But that doesn't mean she's bad. Right? It's the same reason why earlier was like, some fucking idiot was like, Ooh, Look at all the tanks in A tier. Oh, tank is terrible. Yeah, well, it's, well, what about all the fucking... What about the couple supports that are in B tier? They're not bad. It's just you probably wouldn't pick them over some of the other ones because the other ones are better because that's how tier lists fucking work. Um, but yeah, Alari's, Alari's pretty decent. Alari's pretty good. Uh, I think that she could shine with a few adjustments to the game. But not every character needs to be meta at the exact same time. That's just how the game goes, you know? That's just the way the game goes. Uh, Life Weaver. Solid C. Solid C. Yeah. Play. I've seen people play him, just not really that good. Um, not real reason. Not really a reason to play Life Weaver at all. But at the same time, you can't buff him. I feel like you can't buff Weaver anymore. Like, if you buff Weaver anymore, it's just like... Like, Weaver is an example of the support version of a lot of the tanks nowadays. Right? Where he's just a numbers character. He's just a numbers character. His whole shtick is just providing really, really high amounts of healing. And with a yoink... And the platform to just stand on for a little bit, right? Um, the Rhine of supports? No, I would argue he's more like Arissa, but useless, right? Like, basically, Arissa's whole shtick is to stand there and try not to fucking die, right? Um, but Weaver's is like you stand in the back and just pump out endless amounts of healing. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm, I guess I'm just not a huge fan of how Weaver's designed. Last but not least, probably the hottest topic in the history of Overwatch is Mercy. And I gotta give her the D tier. I gotta give her the D tier. I think she's really not good. Uh, the only reason you'd ever play Mercy is if you're playing ranked and you have an incredible Sojourn player on your team and you're like, that guy's insane. Let me just pocket him for the entire game. And that's it. That's it. Her heals are terrible. Her movement, which I've predicted very early on before the Season 9 even launched, was I think that her movement isn't going to be as good because people are going to learn how to play with the new changes to the game, like projectile changes. And in the first like week or two, it didn't appear to be like that. Like She ended up being like slightly okay at the beginning. Um, and then very quickly, people realized how bad she is. And she even went lower and lower and lower and lower. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Mercy, unfortunately, is kind of terrible. Uh, and there's almost never a reason to even pick her. And so for that, I got to give her the D tier alongside Ryan. So. Is there any changes I want to make to this? Any last second revisions? Um, nah, nah. Okay, one more time for like the the ball crazies in chat, dude. Why do you guys want to fight for last place? 
Why are you guys so determined to fight for last place? What's wrong with you? Very clearly, if you look at this list, you see two outliers in the tank roll that are fucking terrible, and you probably shouldn't pit, you shouldn't fight about it. They want buffs. Newsflash, I am not the fucking guy who does balance. So suck my ball, because, dude, they fucking, they have issues. They both do. Why are you fighting for last place? They both blow. That's it. Leave it alone, dude. Leave it alone. This list should tell you that there's some tanks that are way better than others. And there's a reason why. Because they're about standing there and not dying. The other ones don't have those things. Right? <sighs> okay. Why am I looking at mod chat? Jesus Christ. Cool. All right, there's your season nine mid-season tier list official. No one else's opinion matters. This is the definite one, of course, uh, like always. Yeah, that's that's just that's the law of the land, apparently. Um, clearly not satire in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Okay. Cool. All right, let me load up Overwatch again. All right, let me un uncage you as well, you little demons. Okay, cool. Oh. The voices, yeah, the voices have been unlocked. Needs to what the hell? Saddle. Did I not? Dude, hello? Okay. Uh, yo, Father Summon, like 34 months. Before you should do things, thank you. Um. No, no, no. Probably, probably not doing those today. Ha 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 ha, bricked up and ready for the thick dumps. You're. You're what? Yo, thank you in 369 bits. I appreciate it. Uh, let me see. Okay. Are you like the new weapon skins? Wait, I haven't even seen them yet. Are they out? Do you think there's any chance of seeing convention appearances of competitive Overwatch tourneys again like before OWL? Uh, Do you have any possible plans to go to any cons we could see you at? Well, there's DreamHack. DreamHack is what OWCS is going to. Uh, outside of DreamHack? No. Oh. Fuck it, do I buy them, chat? Oh, I can try them out. That's cool. Every soldier needs a cause. Not good enough. To drink up. I'm a man on a mission. Stay out of my way. Hmm. Tactical termination. Sounds all right. That warms the bones. I know that it probably looks better without gold chat. I know. I know. Honestly, that's not really what I care about. Double 
Okay. Let's try the other one. Is the ult sound different? Oh, I should have checked that actually, you're right. Plenty of bombs to go around. Go on the shadow? What are you talking about? Wait, what? Hello, after watching your new video, I can confirm SK is hella weird. What do you mean? What's wrong with SK? SK is cool. Shut, uh, shut up. That's actually sick. Okay, how's it sound? Oh, unless you meant the warm water thing. Oh, okay, then I agree. I think that's someone's. That's your own low details fire that comes out of the gun. Yeah, but I'm gonna test stuff on how I'm going to see it. I'm not gonna, you know what I mean? I play on low, so I wanna see how it looks like on low. That's sick. All right, how's the tire? Fire in the hole. Exact same, okay. Let's go try the soldier one for visor. Low graphics supremacy. That's right, in 16 months. That doesn't look right. Oh. Every soldier needs a cause. That's sick. That is really cool, actually. I'm not gonna lie, that's fucking awesome. The march emote? I don't even know how to, I don't have it. I've got you in my sights. Sounds the same. Sounds the same. Oh, indoors is it different? Just shadow in general. I don't know. That is kind of badass. I'm not gonna lie. Uh... All right, I'm gonna go look at it with it without gold on it. Now I'm actually deciding if I want to buy it or not. Is it actually worth it? Flats use the soldier alt again and look at the skull's eyes. Did I miss something with it? Every soldier needs a cause. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really look that much better without. It doesn't really look that much better without the gold. If I'm honest. It definitely looks better because like the the black coloring lets the colors pop a bit more. But you see, look at the skull's eyes. I've got you in my sights. Do they get like slightly more intense? Tips on becoming a famous warlord streamer like you: less than three. I'm not a famous warlord streamer though. Oh yeah, it does actually get more smoky. Wait, does it go back blue when it comes off cooldown? It does. That's kind of cool. Got 
you in my sights. The rocket sound is kind of nice. Halfway in the shadow? How do I stand halfway in the shadow? Oh. Wait, okay, that's actually kind of insane. The front turns green, the other half doesn't? What? Holy. You're never going to see this in game, though. That's the problem. But it is still really cool. You'll see it. You'll see it go wholly like green or 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 purple. But you probably won't ever see this in game. And if you are taking time to look at this, you're probably trolling. That is actually super cool, though. I gotta I gotta say that. All right, let's look at the other one. I think I'm sold. <laughs> Plenty of bombs to go around. That's pretty cool. You're different. Don't tell anyone. What's different about it? I don't even notice. Fly, my little friend. Wait. Oh, it is. That is different, isn't it? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I think I slept hard on these ones. The rest doesn't look that good. I like the blue a lot. And the sound is kind of nice. Can we see it on high quality? Dude, this would be a great time if I had a creator code. I could just tell you guys, no, you can go buy it yourselves and use creator code flats and then actually become a paid corpa shill instead of an unpaid corpa shill. Missed out opportunities, for real. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm sold. I think I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna buy them. Yeah, these look cool. I'm getting it. I want to make sure I get the bundle. Yeah, both. I'm gonna go make them gold again. I'm not gonna lie, I think the gold looked a little better. Cool. <clears throat> Let's use it again. Yeah. Every soldier needs a that looks cool. I like the purple. The purple looks nice. Wait, does light not count? No, it doesn't. Only sunlight counts. Wait. Wait. Oh, okay, it did actually do it. Wait, did the whole thing? It did! The whole thing ends up turning yellow after taking a knee! Wait, that's so cool! Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually kinda badass. That is pretty badass. I don't think healing pad looked different, did it? Uh, maybe the green on top slightly? That warms the bones. Maybe. All right, I gotta pee though. When I get back, chat, I think we're gonna switch gears. I don't know what to yet, but we'll see. You're back.
Cool. Okay, maybe I'll play a couple of games of quick play and just kind of while we're sitting in queue decide what I want to play today because I think we're gonna do some variety. Sound good? Question is, what do we play today? No, not Pokemon. No Pokemon. Um, I could play Pacific Drive again. That game wasn't bad. It just kind of tilted me. Valheim. I haven't played that in a long time. Valheim might actually be a good time. Any games on sale that might be good? Prepare to attack. Select your hero. I think I have a whole list of games somewhere. Where's my list? Um Games to play. Oh yeah. Red Dead 2, I never finished that. Firewatch we did. Hello there. Cyberpunk Have we did. Have you thought about watching some of your first videos? Uh, I mean, I guess I could, but... I'm not like too interested in that, you know? I don't have my PS5 set up, I could do God of War later, but not today. BG3 already did. We must search in harmony. Um... Gotcha. We're going to have to update this list. Five, four, three, two, one. Attack commencing. Engage without me. Escort the payload. Payload secured. Let's move. You say it was a 20 hour install? I have pretty good internet. Nothing will take us too long to install, chat. Souls guy, game guy, I know you guys want Elden Ring, but I know why you want Elden Ring. You want to see Elden Ring because you want to see me fucking rage. Right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I was not born yesterday. Your tank going to work in there, chat. Fuck you. Totally needs a tier one. Appreciate it, dude. Relaxing POV. 
What about Hades? Or Hades? Something's back there. I think it's the Lucia. Why don't you play ranked anymore? Question mark, question mark. As if I haven't played 700 games this season. Oh, we're dead. Here, have a good time, dude. Hey, Mr. Hoggy guy. Any chance you saved me? Yeah, what, what is it actually? Let me check. Uh, streamer, you've only played 701 games of rank this season. Get your fucking ass back in there. Oh, sorry, chatter. My bad. I apologize. May, may I get some gifties for my troubles? No! Alright, fine. Fuck you. Here's some ads then. Noxious thing of the five gifties appreciate it. Thank you for everything of the five months as well. I appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, sweet dart, thank you for the eight months. Sorry, I missed that earlier. I just didn't hear it. I apologize. Um, King Pan, thing of the five gifties as well. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Are drops on? No, but wouldn't that be awesome if they were? Any blizzard people in chat? Can we get some more drops? Any exclamation point drops? I know chat loves their drops. Any droppers? Feed their feed their their hunger. We're dead. One day Flats will say my name correct? Wait, what did I say? Wait, is it Sweat Darth? Oh. Oh, my bad. Oh. Okay, fair enough. I like this little pillar. To me, it served no purpose, but... Delete them. I hate you so much right now. Wait, don't go back. Oh, you killed him, actually. Never mind. I was uh, not uh, familiar with your game. Oh, well, never mind. There it is.
We're dead. Stop bullying the sojourn? No. Alright, work at Intel site. The only reason YouTube is available is for training videos. That's kind of based. So wait, you're only able to watch streams because of that? Uh, well, I just got rolled. Yeah, I've always wondered that. I asked YouTube, when I started doing YouTube streams originally forever ago, I'd ask like, wait, why do you guys watch this stream over like Twitch? And like most people were like, oh, I'm at work and it's blocked. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. But then I started doing nighttime streams for a bit. And I probably will go back to doing nighttime streams again. Uh, next time there's drops. Because me and uh, me and Imong, I don't know, we were we were farming last drop cycle. Oh boy, we're dead. Now, do you stream on TikTok? No, not anymore. Streaming on TikTok was fucking useless. I noticed that when I streamed on TikTok, my videos got suppressed while I was live until I was un not live anymore. You don't get paid from it at all. It's basically fucking free babysitting for for fucking kids. Uh, and I was like, there's there's actually not a single reason I can think of for doing this. Oh, and then the app would crash consistently as well. So basically, and Iman, Iman confirmed this to me later because I wasn't 100% sure if I was just losing my mind or not. Uh, but apparently, after if you stream for too long, like if you stream for like an hour or two, uh, TikTok gets really mad at you and thinks that you've been streaming for too long. So like you just leave your computer on or something, or you left your your phone on for too long, uh, and so it like will just take you off the for you page. That's not good. That's really not good. We're dead. Yeah, they disconnect your stream or unlist you when they feel like it. Yeah, it's and there's no there's no warning for it. It just happens. And so I got really fucking sick of it. So I just stopped streaming on it. There's no reason for me to. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna queue up another one and I'm gonna open my list. Chat, remember we made this list forever ago of games to play? Alright, we'll we'll put green for we've already have played it. Okay. Highlight green. Cyberpunk. Oh, actually, sorry, wrong one. Green. Uh Baldur's Gate. Green. We've played No Man's Sky. Green. Um, do we play anything else? No, I know you guys got flashbang. My bad. Hang on, let me put on the dark reader I got. Oh, that looks terrible, but whatever. <clears throat> I guess we could go finish Pal World. We never did that, huh? But I kind of already know everything that's happening in Pal World. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of already seen everything. I just never officially captured it. I played God of War 1, not Ragnarok. We did Valheim as well. We didn't finish it, though. We didn't get close to finishing Valheim. We didn't get f close to finishing Flashbang. We didn't get close to finishing it. I will break this world. I love Cyberpunk. Which ending did you get? Um, 
I think my playthrough is uploaded on more plots if you're interested. Uh, I kind of forget off the top of my head. I did a corporal playthrough. Holy shit, did that guy really just try to do that? Dude, they got a hit out on my Lucio. $9,996. Ball connoisseur here. I agree on soldier being B and ball being C tier. Ball is very map dependent like Li Jiang Tower, but when it's King Row the first SWAT. True. That is actually true. That's what I've always heard from every ball player. King's Row is fucking terrible. Also, I think you might be very far behind, I feel like. I feel like you made a comment too during, uh... Maybe I'm wrong. When that guy was being annoying way earlier. It's like, if you're still on the tier list, uh, we're, we're way past the tier list. Well, I guess we'll figure it out in a few hours. I'm dead. Dude, of course it went all the way down the stairs. Dude, look at how far that thing went. Hmm. Go, Lucio. Be free. <laughs> Be free, little Lucio. Got him back. <laughs> uh, we giveth and then taketh away. See, that's that's what we got for being nice. We got rewarded. Uh oh. They didn't hear that, right? Nah, no way you're no way you're mad at me. Don't don't you no, don't you dare. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Talon. Oh, isn't that guy's name was Taco? Oh, that's my Lucio. My Lucio's name. Yo, I, uh, dude, I'm sorry. Hang on, just peek me. Peek me. Yeah, here, you, can, you deserve this. My bad. I ain't no way. Tank player trying to make a play. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, we're dead. Look both ways. <laughs> Watch and learn. <laughs> Watch and learn. I see an enemy. Like, I was not happy with me sleeping him earlier. Maybe I'll play, like, uh, some Pacific Drive chat. The game's kind of... Hey. Oh, boy. That's not good. That's really bad. That's really bad. Hog, I'm gonna hide inside you. Never mind. Yeah, what else do we have? I go, I go look what I already got installed in Steam. Uh, we've got... Cyberpunk, but it needs an update. Helldivers. Pacific Drive, Starfield needs an update, Siege needs an update, Valheim. I could download other stuff too. I don't know what. I don't know why I want to play oh, Hell Divers by myself. This one might get tricky. Can I count on you to watch my back? Of course. You are like a brother to me. 
You've Papers, Please? Honestly, I've always kind of sure wanted to play coming. Papers, Please. Is that game really good? One. I feel like that's like a chill game. Capture the objective. Bad guys. Take them out. Also, Shade told me to play Dredge, and Shade's kind of been, like, spot on on good games recently. All right, yo, mods, any mods? Can you uh, make a poll? Give me and put like papers, please, and dredge as the two options. Oh no, that's that's really bad. <laughs> Thanks, Frederick. Put it like a, like a three-minute timer or something like that. Give it some time. I might have to not play Ana here. I'm kind of getting owned, but it's quick play, so I'm kind of trying to have some fun, you know? Yeah, someday, random. Someday. Probably not, but someday. Well, I don't want to play any Zelda games because I don't have my Switch setup chat. I'm getting three, two, one in a fucking quick play game. It's time. <laughs> it's time. Uh, it's time. I'll find my own path. Chill. It's a poker rogue like, and it's probably the most addictive game I've played in years. Poker rogue like? What does that even mean? What's a poker rogue like? $4.99 I think the reason why Ball will get a rework next season is cause of the new DPS adventure with another counter to Ball. Dude, he actually hit us around that corner. Dude, what is the hitbox of that? What the? The spring flows anew. Oh, thanks to the five, dude. Uh, well, I mean, the real reason is because they already announced it. Chat, if you haven't already, vote right now before the poll closes. Wait. Was that a three minute poll? That was quick. Wow, holy shit. Paper, please, is fucking dominating. All right, hang on. Let me, let me buy papers, please, really quick. Papers. Now. When did this game come out? 2013. It's still full price? Damn, dude. Must be a really good game. Let me do this. 369. 369. 369 flats be my daddy. This is Nine Tail Fox, things are two months. Sorry if I missed it earlier. Uh, but we're reacting since the 11 months. Hmm. 
Oh, that's good. When you go to download it and it says, cannot, zero internet connection. Oh, that makes sense. Um... Hello? Hi, Flats. Do you know if the new Hammond skin makes a noise like the others? Thank you. I got no clues. No clues. Okay, I definitely just bought the game, but it's not in my store. Hello? Steam? Wait, it says... This is in my library, but it's not in my library. I had to relaunch my Steam. Wait, it's Steam's okay. weekly maintenance? Select your hero. How long is it down for? Fuck. Ten minutes? Okay. Alright, I will download papers, please when it goes back up in like 10 minutes. Yo! All right, keeping with the super chat. Appreciate it. Two Canadian dollars and 79 cents from Riley Cake. Emo Twilight Princess, one of the best Zelda games. Ah, uh, I actually don't know what that is. Also, I just realized, hold on. I don't wanna play that. Uh, I'll play that again. Are the challenges for Cowboy Bebop gone? Yeah, they are, aren't they? Five, four, three, two, one. Attack! I don't know if I got the ball skin. Actually, I might have. I might have forgot. Let's go smash some heads. Everybody's dying. Everybody's dying. Everybody's dying. Uh, yo, Kremu, thank you for the five gifted subbies. I appreciate it. Hey. Hey, fuck you. Get off my face. Now uh, you're dead. You're anti. Fucking relax. That guy's dead. He lived. Cat. Yeah, but I didn't really play that much last week, if I'm honest. I mean, I played some games. I probably played enough, right? Run, 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 run. Where did you go? I'm not telling you. Let's 
flanking on it? No, more like running away. I was. I, I left. Five pounds for the flotation. Any tips for me being very tanky? Yes, like yes, 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 Here. I will Soldiers, pick up your faith, you drongos. We must push forward. Thanks again, Krim, for the five gifties. Appreciate it, buddy. The bombing in the prime. Oh, hey, how you doing? I knew that guy was gonna chase me. <laughs> but uh, there was people down below, let's go! This is not the end. The payload has reached the checkpoint. The gauntlet for actual matches? Wait, what are you talking about? What gauntlet? You mean like Hero Mastery Gauntlet? Watch you. Wow. Yeah, sometimes I throw nades like that, that miss by a mile, and I just am like, you know what? I'm just the best player of all fucking time, aren't I? Time for the reckoning. Dude, I'd love to, man. What's up, Hannah? I think Hero Gauntlet was like fine for them to do. Like it's it's kind of like a nice like they should make it so you can do Hero Gauntlet while you're in queue. That would be actually like. Oh. Look at that hinder right there. Go, my queen. Go, my queen. I'm sorry. Don't hurt me, my queen. I'm dead. Let me try Steam again. See if it's back up. Um. Aha! Alright, install. It's only like 800 mega or 80 megabytes? Okay, it's, it's installed. <laughs> that was instant! Wow. Holy shit, you were not, you guys were not kidding about that one. It's a 2D pixel game. Okay. All right, chat, if you're here for Overwatch, uh, I appreciate you for hanging Thanks for spending your time. I hope you enjoyed being here, uh, especially on the YouTube side. Uh, YouTube's actually gonna be going down. Sorry, apologies. I uh, appreciate you though. I hope you enjoyed, uh, but I'm gonna end the YouTube stream and we're gonna be playing some papers, please, over on the Twitch side, so.
Sorry about that, YouTube. I'll see you later. I'll definitely be streaming again tomorrow, probably for a bit longer on Overwatch. So see you guys then. Bye.